Parliament to urge the European Parliament but also the British government and the international community to put more pressure because a lot of pressure has been put on President Rajpaksa so far a lot of pressure has been put on the Sri Lankan government but they've ignored it and they've just carried on with their military campaign and we've got to do more and I hope that this demonstration this afternoon will bring even more pressure to bear on the Sri Lankan Sri Lankan government has got to answer to the allegations of war crimes to the allegations that they have been killing and maiming men women and children that they've been bombing hospitals and if as they maintain this is not not just not true if that is the case why on earth are they not allowing the international press and the media free access to the part that part of the world why are they prohibiting the aid agencies and the humanitarian organizations why are they stopping them going in to help people who are clearly in desperate circumstances if they have nothing of which to be ashamed the sri lankan government why are they denying the international community access to the tamil people who are suffering in I believe at some stage that the Sri Lankan government will have to answer whether it's in the international court whether it's in a war crimes tribunal or whether it's in the court of uh, human justice throughout the world that they will have to answer to the fact that there have been atrocities taken place that they directly indirectly one way or another have been responsible for the deaths the suffering uh, and the humiliation of hundreds of thousands